Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Cyrus Web Presents our Conversations LA, as we're calling it. I'm so excited to welcome actress Shanti Lowry to our program today. We're going to talk to her not only about her amazing journey as an actress, but a brand new show that we want you all to watch. So stay tuned. It's time to shine, time to shine. So shine on. And we are back with Cyrus Flip Presents. I am so excited to welcome Shanti Lowry to our program today. You already have recognized her face. She's been a part of some great projects in the past, but now she's part of a brand new show on UMC called Bronx SIU. We're going to talk to Shanti not only about the journey that she's been on, but also this brand new drama and why you should be watching. Shanti, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Glad to do it. So look, I want to first of all talk about the ride because I'm, I mean, I think, you know, as we kind of reflect on this year already and your journey, I mean, what has it been like for you, Shanti, to not only have been able to do what you love as an actress, but then to be able to share that with the rest of us? Um, time flies, you know, yeah. it really does. And so I think the, the thing I've learned the most in this business for me is that I have to just love what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Yeah. And then you have to kind of let it go. And you, mm -hmm. have to, you have to hope that people really love it and then hope that you get to do it again, yeah. which is a big thing for Bronx SIU because we, we really all embraced that sort of, um, that idea on set. We were like, we're just happy to be here. Right. We're happy to have these great characters and let's bring it to life. Um, right. And now we're sitting here and I'm like, oh, we hope you watch right. because we want to do it again. We want to sure. go back and try this sure. whole experiment again. Um, but I, I just learned that in, in all aspects of the industry, put your all into it, enjoy that process, enjoy the moment, um, enjoy doing the research about the character, yeah. get into it. You know, someone's paying you to learn. Yeah. It, it's, there's a lot of really cool stuff in the industry, and to me, the least cool part of the industry is premiere. Oh, really? You know? Because oh, wow. it's like, you can't control what other people mm -hmm. tune in. I hope you do. Right. And they, they will. We're going to make sure they yeah. do. You know, I think the thing when I was prepping for your segment, Ashanti, the thing that really impresses me is that you have been able to have fun with different types of characters. Yeah. Is that part of what makes acting fun for you? Oh, definitely. Like, I think the most exciting part of the job is when I when I get it, seeing all the things I'm going to have to learn or research before I can complete this character. Mm -hmm. Because, like I said, it's the process. And so that process is extended and it's going to add to... Shanti, the, the person that I am at the end of it, because I'm going to have these new skills, this new knowledge. Um, so, yeah, that, that's always the most exciting part of, of getting a character is the differences, the things that I have never done before. Right. And this was probably the biggest. Wow. Really different. So let's dive into uh, to Bronx SIU. As I mentioned to you, I had a chance to interview not for our television audience, but for our radio audience, Mike Mayhall, the producer and director. He had so many great things to say about all of you, of course, but also what it was like to tell the story. What made this story special for you to tell? Wow. A lot of things about Yolanda were really special for me. Um, as a part, totally aside from that, it was, it was cool to get to do something I hadn't done before, like being a cop and being yeah. sort of a badass. And um, I'm small, I'm a petite person, a lot of times people don't buy that I would be that character. Um, but you know, they gave me the chance to do that, and and that aside, there was this amazing character of Yolanda, this really deep person who was very lost, um, in ways that so many of us are lost, you know, and I thought, um, she's a very extreme example of a lot of things, but there's elements of all of us in there and the mistakes that we make, and, and we, if we can see it, sometimes that helps us but it also helps to just express it. So for my own healing, I was excited to play Yolanda. And then for, you know, I hope other people get to see things and learn from her as well. Yeah. To, to, to take off of that point, you have to bring up social media, because that's one of the ways that your fans are able to stay connected with you. What has it been like for you to see the excitement that's been brewing already for the show? 
You know, that's so funny. I started laughing when you asked me the question because people who know me know I'm, I'm kind of terrible at social media. <laughs> and I also think of it as like this burden that I carry yeah. as an actress. Like I can't just turn it off. Mm -hmm. I have to participate. Um, and I don't love that. Right. But this has been really fun. The people really seem to be excited about Process IU and I love getting to, you know, scroll through and, and see people saying I can't wait or I'm tuning in. And, so it makes me like it a little more. Yeah. You know, and to go to another thing you, you said about yourself versus the character that you bring to life in Bronx mm -hmm. SIU, the thing is that I think that I've seen people say about you is that they're able to see a part of themselves in you. And it makes them feel like they can do whatever it is that they want to do. I know you've heard that. So what does that feel like to hear that from someone? Um, it feels amazing because it's a huge part of why I became an actor. Um, I think, you know, there are many, like, there were many reasons I wanted to play Yolanda. There are many reasons I became an actress. But a huge part of that was in healing myself, maybe I could help heal others. Sure. Because I saw that, you know, there were, I had role models growing up that made such a difference in my life, even though they never met me, you know, and I don't know them. But just seeing their struggle or seeing them succeed or not succeed. It uh, influenced my life, and so to hear that is crazy. To to hear that maybe I'm doing what I always wanted to do is it's very moving, actually. Yeah. Yeah. What's happening. For those who are just tuning in, you're watching Cyrus Webb Presents Our Conversations LA, as we're calling it. I'm here with the lovely Shanti Lowry. We're talking to her not only about her journey as an actress, but also what it's been like for her to do what she loves in her brand new show on UMC called Bronx SIU. Yes. Something you said, too, that I thought was so interesting in, about yourself versus this, this show. Mm -hmm. You talked about letting go. How difficult was it for you to let this character go? Let the character go at the end? Mm -hmm. Ooh, you know, I haven't entirely because I'm hoping we get to go back in season two. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, it was interesting. It was a bit of um, like armor, that, a suit of armor that I put on when I played Yolanda. She has a very specific look. You know, we put a wig on and there's these, this necklace that she always wears and her badge and the gun. and Just, it, it was such a sort of uniform that taking it off every day, I got used to just doing that. And at the, mm -hmm. the end of filming, I just took it off like, we're coming back another time. I still had it sort of set aside, like all the stuff that I want to you know, use for season two or sure. whatever, because I just really believe that I'm not done with Yolanda. Gotcha. I think if I actually had to face that, it would be, I would, I would get depressed. I would mm -hmm. miss her. And I would miss getting to see where she's gonna go. Wow, wow. well, speaking of, going, and it goes back to what we were saying about you and the journey, because part of the, what's happened, as I mentioned, you've been able to play other roles as well. Mm -hmm. you, you mentioned social media, and I hear that so much. From, <laughs> from hate social media? Yeah, yeah oh, I, hear, good, I'm not I hear it so much, and I think it's so funny because it has kind of become the way, right, that mm -hmm. we kind of uh, communicate with one another. How do you find the balance, though, because I, I think for, you know, for yourself, you're, you're used to playing characters. How do you find that time for yourself? Find the time for myself? Mm -hmm. You know, mm, I don't think I have a good balance on that, honestly, because when I'm in a character, that's, I'm so obsessive about my work and my job, and you know, I, when the day's over, I'll go and have dinner with my family or something, and I can do that, but I'm still thinking about what's tomorrow, what's, um, but on, a, on something like this, where we shot, you know, over about a month and a half, you, you can kind of just let yourself be in it, and then mm -hmm. when you're done, you take some time and you go on vacation or you sleep a lot. You <laughs> eat. Um, but then when I'm not working, I get anxious and I don't take the time for myself either because I'm constantly thinking, what what should I be doing more of? What should mm -hmm. you know? So I, I probably need to work on the balance of that a little bit. I'm, I'm guilty of that too. My <laughs> friends tell me that all the time. Last thing I want to talk to you about, um, mm -hmm. and it has to deal with the rest of the cast because you've been able to work with some talented people along yeah. the way. I mentioned earlier what Mike said about working with you guys. I mean, what was it like for you to work with such a talented cast? It was so fun. It was it was necessary actually to get the show that we got because we were shooting so quickly and we were, you know, going to four and five locations a day because it was all shot, well not all, but mostly shot on the streets in New York and um, that's just hard work. You know, you can't be a diva, you can't, uh, you just have to be a team player. So they got really great team players that also happen to be talented. And so every day it was like 
I can't, I can't describe it. It was so fun to get in there and be like, all right, you know, like take the gloves off and let's let's get this done today. And it was like a team effort. You're looking at this other person that's sort of like in the trenches with you. Right. And um, every day we came through, like, you know, we got it together. And um, that's a real testament to Mike and um, and Dan. They, they just, they never quit, no matter how hard or how behind things got. It was always like, we're getting it done. And that's what we continue to do. Again, everyone, a great conversation today with Shanti Lowry. We've been talking with her not only about her journey as an actress, but also the brand new show that we want all of you to watch called Bronx SIU on UMC, as well as, of course, through Amazon Prime, one of our partners here at Cyrus Web Presents. So make sure you all take advantage of that. And even though it may not be the best part or your favorite part of what you do, <laughs> how can our viewers stay connected with you? Oh, please do. I'm getting better at it. I promise I'm, I'm trying. Um, but Shanti Lowry, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know, mostly Instagram. <laughs> well, there you go. Baby there steps. Go. Baby steps, there right? There right? So make sure you are staying connected with Shanti. Again, everyone, thank you all for tuning in to this edition of Cyrus Web Presents. Until next time, make it a great one.